The Toby Eye Tracker will let you control your character's head with your head. When will we get the Toby Stomach Tracker so that I can sate my character's hunger by eating my own homemade torpedo burritos? <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Thrill Nest Citizen channel here on YouTube. I'm your host Cody James Casey and today I'm here to talk to you about the Toby Eye Tracker 5. This device is meant to be mounted to the bottom of your computer monitor and it will track uh, head motion and eye movement. Uh, it is designed for in-game interaction such as uh, you know controlling different parts of the game with your head and eye motion. Uh, Esports training, um, you know, it will detect if you have tunnel vision or if you're not focusing on the things that you should be. Uh, and also streaming. So if you're ever watching a stream, uh, a streamer could hook this up so that you can see where their eyes are on their screen. Uh, I found this is especially entertaining if you're watching somebody play a shooter and you want to see what they're looking at. Um, today, though, I'm going to be talking about this in the context of Star Citizen. So let's get this thing set up and then check out how it works. So setting the device up was pretty straightforward. Uh, all you really had to do was um, stick this thing to the bottom of your monitor and uh, those patches were Velcro and they connect to the mounting piece of plastic. Um, and then the Toby eye tracker unit itself uh, it seems to be magnetic and it just kind of snaps right on. It's, it took like, you know, maybe like a minute to set up uh, and plug in. And moments after, you are greeted with this um, screen here as soon as the software drivers or whatever installed. Um, the Toby Experience app, a new experience awaits. Let's click get started and see what happens. Um, so this is just some user agreement stuff. The first thing it does is it tells you to align the tracker uh, with these, um, you know, vertical lines right here. Uh, everything looks good to me, so I'm going to go ahead and hit done. These are your eyes. Hello. Oh, wow. Okay. So <laughs> that's really freaking cool, isn't it? Um, okay, so it's it's already getting it. Um, look at each dot until it explodes. So I'm looking at the dots. Oh gosh. Um, okay, the top one, I'm looking at the bottom right. I'm looking at the bottom left. That's so cool. Um, looking at the top left, the top right, and the bottom middle. I'm so excited about this. This is amazing. Um, it appears to be uh, done. I'm going to say that my profile name is Cody and I'm going to save it. And okay, so I think I'm calibrated. And it, oh, look at that. Okay, so you can. Whoa! <laughs> oh, and it also shows my head. Okay, that's dope. So you can see my eyes moving and you can see my head moving. That's incredible. And <laughs> honestly, it's it's like maybe it's just like novel right now, but um, I am completely distracted at the moment by this. I apologize. Uh, OK, so I'm just going to poke around here for a second. So I'm going to hit game. It looks like they uh, are these the games they support. I guess so. You can see Star Citizen right there um, for those of you who play Elite Dangerous. I think uh, is that what this is? Yeah, that's what Elite Dangerous is. Um, yeah, so, uh, here's the app, um, and I guess let's, let's try it out, right? Let's crack open some Star Citizen. So before we actually hop into the game, I just wanted to show off that, um, you know, uh, Toby Eye Tracker 5 is officially supported in Star Citizen as of version alpha 3.12 which uh, at the time of this recording is in the PTU, the public test servers. So that's what I'm gonna be testing out in. Um, I believe that they just launched a patch recently that actually set up some um, more sensible defaults for, for the eye tracker. So that's, uh, we're just gonna see what the first time experience is. Alrighty, so to get this turned on in Star Citizen itself is quite simple. Just go open your options menu on the tab all the way to the right where it says comms, FOIP, and head tracking. Go there. Scroll down until you see head tracking general source. 
In that drop down menu, select Toby. Um, right below that is head tracking, general toggle enabled. Make sure that says yes, it is off by default. Um, for the purpose of this demo, I'm also going to go down to this option here that says head tracking general toggle disabled during FPS. By default, this is yes. So um, the head tracking doesn't work during FPS, but uh, I'm gonna show that off here by clicking no for a second, and then I'm gonna hit back. Um, so I am not touching my keyboard. I am just moving my head around and my character is moving around. Um, okay, my head is straight forward. Now I'm just moving my eyes around. You can see that my head is slowly following my eyes. So once again, I'm shaking my head. It's quite quick. I'm moving my eyes. It's quite slow. I'm going to turn my head to the, to the left and roll my eyes to the right. Maybe? I don't know. Kind of funky. Um, okay, so now I have my left hand on the keyboard and I'm just looking around with my head. Isn't that so cool? That's amazing. Um, okay, I'm, I guess I still need my mouse to turn my character. So here we go. So looking around, looking around, looking around. Very cool. Let's go try this out in a ship. Capsule now approaching station. Hello. Stand clear um, of disembarking passengers. So this is Cody from several moments in the future. Uh, <laughs> I can see why they disabled this by default in first person view. It's it's kind of disorienting to be honest. Um, I, I think I might disable it for first person and just use it in the ship. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just gonna stick it out. I'm sorry, this is like disorienting for me. I can only imagine what it's like to watch this video. Uh, hang in there. Okay. Um, so here we are in the Drake Buccaneer. Uh, I am using my head tracker to move my head currently. Uh, I'm using two joysticks and some rudder pedals to fly around. Um, so let's, let's see, oh gosh. Let's see if I can get used to this. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is a little strange. Um, my first impressions are that it's going to take a little time to sort of adapt. Um, let's see here. There we go. Thank you. Now please visit again. What is happening? Okay, I'm having some issues with my <laughs> my thrust. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here we go. We're flying around now. Um, the reason that I was interested in the eye tracker was because um, now that I'm using my my dual joystick scenario uh, I don't have an easy way to actually like look around uh, without changing the orientation of the ship and sometimes I just want to be able to look out the windows to see the pretty sights or look at other ships or just kind of get a sense of what's going on uh, for example I might be navigating uh, and you know turning and stuff but I might just want to look over to the side to see like where maybe something I'm shooting at is um, uh, to be honest you know I'm kind of new to the whole joystick thing anyway so uh, my flying is gonna be pretty questionable but let's go um, let's just you know fly around and see what we what we can do um, so my first uh, I, I like it so far it feels a little weird like I said I think I'm gonna have to get used to it um, I think this is going to help solve uh, a problem that I had though going from controller or from a mouse and keyboard to the joysticks. Uh, previously when I was using mouse and keyboard I could use the Z key to look around while not changing the orientation of my ship but even that was not ideal because I found myself often getting stuck uh, in a scenario where um, you know I thought that I had the Z key toggled off so that I can change my ship but really uh, I had it toggled on so that like moving my mouse would change my view and I wouldn't be turning where I thought so it was just a very confusing um, setup so I'm hoping that this ends up being uh, quite a bit smoother um, we just got to kind of get used to it um, gosh I really don't know what else to, to do at this point um, one thing I did notice um, since I'm in my ship uh, it works while I have the Moby Glass up, which may or may not be desirable for you. You can turn that off in the uh, in the settings. Um. Thank you for sticking around and checking out the Toby Eye Tracker 5 with me. I hope that you found this interesting and entertaining and hopefully informative. Uh, 
if you're looking for my sort of first take on this is in terms of if you should get it or not, uh, I say yes. I am, I was blown away by how cool it was almost immediately. I think I'm going to get used to it and it's going to help my Star Citizen flying experience a ton. I'm really excited to see what other games end up supporting it. Um, I think I might make another video on this, maybe after a while once I kind of get used to it. So we'll see. If you liked this content, consider liking, subbing, leaving a comment, uh, ringing that notification bell. It will help my channel grow a little bit here as I'm ramping up with more Star Citizen focused content, including gameplay content and peripheral content such as more tools like the Toby Eye Tracker or joysticks or different types of controllers. Uh, thank you for swinging by Thrill Nest Citizen. <laughs>